Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle. I'm gonna start by saying a happy birthday to a young lady over there. It's a happy birthday. <laughs> it's gonna be a truly exciting day for Auburn. Before I get into all my remarks, I wanna thank everybody for attending today, especially members of our board of trustees, local officials, top board members. <coughs> Frankly, there's too many of you to introduce individually, but I truly appreciate everybody being here today. We're going to introduce a member, a new member of the Auburn family, and actually his whole family today. One of the most exciting days in Auburn athletics. And I'm really proud to be at the podium. I want to start by thanking the members of the search committee, these are individuals who donated their time and energy, uh, cleared their calendars to help us search for a new leader for Auburn University. So for Gaines, who chaired the committee, Kim, Jason, AJ, Beverly, Quentin, I know some of you here today, thank you for what you did. This was Yeoman's work and putting leadership of Auburn Athletics as a top priority was hugely important. And I'll tell you, they were hugely successful, and that's what we're here to talk about today. But before I introduce Alan and bring Alan to the podium, I want to talk a little bit about Jay Jacobs who's here in the uh, audience today. It's uh, a real pleasure to recognize Jay and his accomplishments to Auburn University, Auburn Athletics. He's been here since two th 2005 as AD, but longer than that, he rose up through the ranks here as a student athlete, uh, through the athletics department and provided just tremendous leadership. In fact, his list of accomplishments is really too long for me to go through today. But I'll say first, as university president, Alan needs to be listening to this part, graduating student athletes is one of the measures I put on athletics. And Jay has done a tremendous job. Our graduation rate for student athletes is at a record level, thanks to Jay's leadership. And this is truly an accomplishment Auburn can be proud of. And it wasn't just success in the classroom. You know, I focus on that as an academic, as, as president. But if you look at what we did, Auburn won 12 national championships, 25 conference championships under Jay's leadership. Tremendous. And Jay's mantra since he's been in Auburn is the best school for the best athletes. And that was more than just an aspiration. We actually accomplished it under his leadership. So the Auburn family thanks you, Jay. <laughs> Credible legacy of success, always putting Auburn first. And that's what led us to today. And so as we search for the 15th director of Auburn Athletics, I heard, the committee heard over and over again about Alan Green. Everywhere I went, people I talked to in other states, people I knew in the athletics community from my time in service on NCAA board said, you need to look at this guy. And we did. And they kept saying things like, he's a superstar. He's truly an elite leader. If you don't hire him, Steve, you'll regret this. And you know, that resonated with me. Um, one sitting AD told me this could be the best hire you make as president. And those are the kinds of things we heard about Alan. And so the really good news is we got him. And this was a, a mutual recruitment here and it worked out. Um, many of you know that Alan comes to us after leading athletics at University of Buffalo. But he has ex other experiences across the country. He served kind of inside the house in compliance, outside the house in fundraising. He has stints at Notre Dame, Indiana, and Mississippi. And Alan knows what it's like to be in the upper echelons of collegiate athletics. He was a student athlete playing Notre Dame baseball for three years and then drafted and playing in the Yankees organization for a number of years. And when this search started, we thought about what skill set do we need? And clearly we wanted someone of integrity, a proven leader, and someone with the knowledge, skills, and abilities to lead us forward. But I was also hoping to get a former student athlete. I was also hoping to get someone that spent time in the Southeast Conference. And we got all that in Allen. It's an incredible fit for us. Leadership, enthusiasm, experience, management skills. He had everything we were looking for and more. 
And what really impressed me were his references. The people that knew this man well, and people that I knew, were willing to say things about him that I had not really heard before. Many of you know Kevin White, the longtime sitting AD at Duke, uh, well, well known in the uh, community. Um, he knows what it takes to excel in collegiate athletics. And here's what he told me about Allen. He said, he is a stalwart within the heartbeat of the highly competitive, he will be a stalwart within the highly competitive SEC, as well as a serious leader nationally around the myriad of respective NCAA and college football playoff interests. And a matter of fact, some of Allen's colleagues drove all the way here from Mississippi and Florida to be with him today. That says a lot about the relationships he's built and what the athletic community thinks of Allen and his ability. Very, very impressive endorsement. So, we have Alan here today with his incredible family. Janet and I got the pleasure last night of having a dinner with them. They're delightful. They'll not only be great ambassadors for Auburn Athletics, they'll be great ambassadors for Auburn, which is just tremendous. So ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege to introduce, and I want you to give an enthusiastic welcome and war eagle to Alan Green, the next AD at Auburn University. 